Disney's five minute under the sea stories. Today's story, Finding Nemo, the Ghost Lightfish. Have a great day, Nemo, Marlin the Clownfish said as he hugged his son goodbye. He and Dory, a regal blue tangfish, were dropping Nemo off at school. All right, Nemo exclaimed. I will, just as soon as you let go. Marlin realized that he was still hugging his son. Oh, right, Marlin said with a chuckle. He let go. Nemo swam off to join the other students and their teacher, Mr. Ray. Bye, Dad, the little clownfish called out. Bye, Dory. See you later. Nemo loved school, and so did his friends Tad, the long-nosed butterfly fish, Pearl, the octopus, and Sheldon, the seahorse. How could they not when they, when Mr. Ray made everything so much fun? Mr. Ray took his students exploring all over the reef. And yeah, must have been learned a lot since the first movie. Anyway, every day Nemo and his classmates got an up-close look at different kinds of sea life. That day, Mr. Ray was taking them to clearing on the ocean floor. Okay, explorers, Mr. Ray said when they arrived. Now it's time to do a little searching on your own. Let's see if each of you can find a shell. Then we'll identify them together. The youngsters fanned out. Nemo searched in the shadow of some coral. Pearl oh, peeked into a spit of algae. Sheldon headed to search the sand. Tad was the first of Nemo's friends to find something. Hey guys, he cried. Look at this. Nemo, Pearl, and Sheldon swam over to their friend. They crowded around and stared in wonder at the gleaming white shell Tad held in the fin. Cool, said Sheldon. It's so pretty, Pearl said. Where did you find it? Tad pointed to a cave. In there, he said. Maybe there are more. Tad darted toward the cave entrance. Yeah, said Pearl, following him. I want to find one, too. Me, too, cried Sheldon. Are you coming, Nemo? He asked. Nah, Nemo replied. You guys go on. He wanted to find a shell that was different from everybody else's. Only a few minutes passed before Nemo heard an odd noise. He looked up and saw Sheldon, Tad, and Pearl bolting out the cave at full speed, screaming loudly. <sighs> What's the matter? Nemo asked. Is it a barracuda? An eel? Sheldon shook his head. No, worse, he said. It's a ghost fish. Yeah, right, Nemo replied. Then he noticed Tad's fin was empty. Where's your show? He asked. Tad looked down. Aw, shucks, he said. I was going to give it to my... Hey, Mom. Then he peered into the cave. I must have dropped it in there, but I'm not... Going back for it. Not with that ghost fish on the loose. Don't worry, Nemo told Ted. I'll find your shell. The little clownfish swam bravely into the cave. See, he said himself, nothing to be afraid of. Just then Nemo froze. On the cave wall next to him was a huge fish-shaped shadow. Nemo took a deep breath. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Ghostfish? Or is it Mr. Ghostfish... A ghost fish, someone with a tiny voice said. Where? Where? Don't let it get me! The ghost fish didn't sound very scary. Nemo swam closer to the shadow. Are you afraid of ghost fish? He asked it. Yeah, squeaked the little voice. Who isn't? Nemo followed the voice. There, cowering behind a rock, was a little fish glowing softly with a pale orange light. The ghost fish wasn't a ghost fish at all. It was just a glow-in-the-dark fish. Its glow had shone on oddly shaped piece of coral and made a spooky-looking shadow. Nemo's fear was forgotten. Oh, hi, he called out. Startled, the glowing fish darted behind another rock. Then timidly, he peeked out from behind it to study Nemo. Don't be afraid, Nemo said. I'm just a little fish like you. He smiled. My name is Nemo. What's yours? The fish swam out cautiously. Eddie, he replied, his eyes still wide. You mean there's no ghost fish? Nemo chuckled. I thought you were the ghost fish. He explained the whole funny story. By the way, said Nemo, how do you glow like that? Eddie shrugged. I just do, he replied. My whole family does. Nemo thought of something who would... 
and one who would know more about Eddie's glow, Mr. Ray. So Nemo invited Eddie to meet his teacher and his friends. Then swimming out of the cave together, the two little fish laughed about the way they had met. You really thought I was the ghost fish? Eddie asked with a giggle. Outside, Nemo rejoined his friend. Sorry I didn't find your cell, Nemo said to Tad, but I did find your ghost fish. Then Nemo and Eddie told their story. Before long, Nemo's friend's fear of the ghost fish was forgotten too. Everyone wanted to know more about Eddie. Can you glow different colors? How come the water doesn't put out your light? Nemo wanted to know what made Eddie glow. Good question, Nemo. See these patches on either side of Eddie's jaw? Inside them are teeny tiny glow-in-the-dark organisms. When you see Eddie glow, you're really seeing these organisms glow. Everyone oohed and awed over Eddie's glow patches. Ooh, ah! Eddie led the whole class into the cave to show them the glow-in-the-dark world, including his family. Nemo thought it was one of the most beautiful things he had ever seen, but there was still one thing weighing on his mind. Mr. Ray, Nemo whispered to his teacher, I didn't finish the assignment. I mean, I didn't finish the shell. Find a shell. Mr. Ray laughed. Ha <laughs> ha, that's okay, Nemo, he replied. I'd say you still get an A in exploring for today. Whatever an A would be in the ocean, I'd never know. Anyways... The end. That shall do it for today, you guys. I'll see you next time.